Town officials in Jupiter have sent a letter to Harborside Place with a list of options for immediate review. This after the tragic death of Nate Davenport, a father who tried to rescue a child from the fountain there. Investigative reporter Dave Bowman just got his hands on this letter and has more on what it says. Dave. And Jay, this letter was sent out to Harborside this afternoon and it reveals, among other things, the results of an inspection that was requested by Jupiter Police the day of the death of Nate Davenport two weeks ago. Ever since the tragedy, the fountain has been turned off. The electricity has been cut off to the fountain and there's been no water in the fountain. The inspection was done by the electrical inspector for the town of Jupiter and the electricians working for the town. And according to the letter sent, from the acting building inspector to Harborside, the inspection of the fountain, it discovered that some light fixtures in the fountain were leaking electrical voltage, adding that the electrical system for the fountain at Harborside has been declared unsafe. Also, the letter is telling Harborside that the electrical system for the fountain will remain unenergized, meaning off, until a repair plan is designed or if there's demolition of the fountain. An attorney for the Davenport family tells WPTV this letter furthers the family's disappointment, calling it unacceptable that the fountain had enough voltage to kill a human being. We also reached out to Harborside for comment. A spokesman has not released a statement at this time.